you know, reach that dog. And that length of line you got is absolutely fine. Um, as you're approaching, you maybe want to... So we're going to look at a difference routine as well, Bella, here. How much physical force you need to use and how much physical force... Look on this other side, how much physical force there is. It's totally pulling like mad. So there, stand still, tap her in. No, not Bella. Bella, come. Yes, he's got, I got my attention. Kate looked at me first. Go again, maybe walk a wee bit closer. You're doing great. Give her the, to, the end, to that bit where you're at. Right, from there, tap, tell her Bella, come. No, not come. Come. There's an asking and there's a telling. This has to be telling. Okay, kind of go, go, go towards the woman. Okay, tap her in. Try not to pull that line. If needed, hold the remote for longer. So it's tap, 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 tap. As soon as she looks at you, release the pressure. I want her thinking, how does that pressure stop? Okay, how do, how do I switch that off when, when, I, when I pay attention to mum? But this is just the society we're in, man. Just this. Everyone's avoiding us, aren't they? Yeah, but not even that. Just the, the, the harness flexi lead society that's meant to be seen as positive, which is just so negative. And it's just people just don't know. But I mean, there's so much physical force used. Dogs just pulling all over the place. And the, the humans have no... People nowadays do not know how to communicate with a dog. It's unbelievable. But that's what, that lady would have been taught that at a training class, probably. Do you know what I mean? It's about having no. It's about having that psychological control, isn't it, June? So how, like, what do you think she's saying here by your pet and Junior, and then she's standing over there? She's not liking it. Yeah, she just does, again doesn't know what to do. No. She'd maybe have usually done her habit in the past, which would be come over and barge in between yeah. you or whatever, and maybe have a pop at the dog. Like but now. she's she's definitely in training right now. But see how she comes in behind you like that? That's beautiful, beautiful. But all you would do there is maybe just like good. Good. Uh huh, and at that tone, it doesn't have to be, oh, well done. She as yeah. soon as you do, she gets excited. You become soft, so she then takes has the potential of ta of leading. You need to be the affection, but also the leadership. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. On. So it's having that that fine line between. Here comes a plane. Look at this plane coming in. Let's forget about dogs for a second and look at this plane. Gee whiz. That comes in low. Look how it looks. Obviously, that it's close to the trees, but it's because it's on the other side of the trees. Obviously. Eh? So I want you to get stand still. Let her go to near the end of that. Walk backwards even a wee bit. Tap it and change, do your command tone. Welcome. No command tone. You need to, so the only thing you need to change it now is your tone. Yeah. You need to be more Bella. See, look. Good job. Yes. Even when I'm rewarding her, I'm still like assertive. You know, yeah. Bella. Good. So in, this dog is just like such an amazingly obedient and in tune dog. You are just gorgeous. You are just gorgeous. <laughs> oh, yeah, give us that run. Give us that run. Blah, 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 blah. But, to, um, but the problem is you don't match even the sensation from the collar because you've went higher to try and get her in certain situations. So you've went up to the 40, 50 because she's just sitting staring at that dog and she's normally like a friggin' eight. But you've maybe stayed holding or tapping high, which she'll take all day because even at that level, it's not going to be painful to her, but you're going to be still, Bella, come, Bella. No, you should. You need to match. So it's confusing for her. You need to match that and be like, bang, Bella, come. That makes more sense. Yeah? Let's, there you go. Again, is there a dog in this park that doesn't have a harness on? And there are all these... Now, Bella has her harness on, but you use it with a long line or whatever. This is absolutely appropriate. It's absolutely fine. And there's nothing wrong with harnesses, but people use harnesses wrong all the time. Every single person we've met today that has a harness on their dog is using it wrong. You know? It's, it's to work the dog and to track and pull... But what people are using it is as a coping mechanism to control their dog. And it is just the absolute wrong way of using a harness. It makes your relationship with your dog fail because your relationship becomes so physical that some for some reason is seen as positive. And because you're willing to you have to be physical um, 
times because that's their language and you have to you know you have to have them on a leash or you have to um, tap them out with a collar but you're trying to be as little physical as possible good job good job so it's actually trying to stay you staying right you 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 know and if you feel that's a bit out of the norm for you then good because that means that's where you've been going wrong if it's not if that isn't natural to you right now it means you've been doing it the wrong like if, if you have to consciously think oh yeah I need to change my tone then that's where you've been going wrong so tap her and tone it up Bella come ah, yeah yeah come. yeah and try and resist that pull of the line okay Bella knows what the collar means you don't need okay. to use the line Bella come good good well done and well if you were going to yes you would have done it the other way around when she looked, I would have yesed her, and then when she came in, I would have went good. Because the good would have slowed her down. Okay. The yes would have sped her up to come to and you, then the and then good. Okay. The good would almost be a calming, just, hey, good, shh, calm. Because she gets excited enough for the world. <whistles> on, on! So if I get Rex coming and barking, I want to see how she acts. If she starts to do anything, I want you to walk backwards and tap her out. Bada, bada! Got her. So even when she gets panicky like that, you should tap, you should fling in some direction there. If I were you, I would have walked backwards, tapped her and went, Bella, come. Because okay. she went, oh, what did I do? Yeah. So I'm going to get them to get excited again, okay? Ready? Ow. 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 Yeah, you're saying we ignore that because she, she is uncomfortable with that. So you're saying, this is what I want you to do. Okay, come a bit closer. Nice. Oh, there's a buzzer. Get her, get her, get her. Ready, go, 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 go. Remember, mark it though, as soon as she came, good. It's just time, no, no, don't give her the touch though. That's, that's too soft, just good. That's what we want, this excitement. Rex Jr. Bada. Bada. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was good. That was good. Come. Shh, done. So the, only, the reason we're getting them to do that is because with them, she's already met them, she's comfortable with them, she doesn't care. We're trying to create what she does with you normally. You know, she gets fixated and stares and so you're trying to, I'm mean, trying to find that pathway that unlocks her okay. to come back to you. So what you're doing is you're walking towards a dog and then she locks on. Uh, you potentially uh, move sideways or even backwards, not necessarily forwards, sideways or backwards and hold and Bella come and then go back forward again. Yeah, try and find an angle that breaks her out of it okay and you go on right now you go as close as you feel comfortable just you walking towards dogs right now good and then you'll be surprised at how quickly you will yourself go i'm now two feet from dogs rather than 30 feet from dogs they start to build your confidence and all you do is the closer you get to build your confidence you decrease the light the length of line okay um and then ultimately you need to meet the dog and if you're finding that, there's another, this is at the other side. This is obviously planes coming in, obviously, from different parts of the world, right? Because there's planes coming, that, so there's an, a runway behind us and there's a runway over here as well. Yeah, Birmingham Airport's just there. Oh no, this is the same one. Yeah, we yeah, we're, up to it. It's... We just turned, we just changed direction, didn't That's we? That's it, yeah. I'm all, I'm all turned around. Wait, Bella, come on, come on. So there go. We go. Yeah, 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 she's totally awesome. Good job. Bella... Um, what's sad is that you're advised that you know because you had one scrummish with a dog that and you and she jumped on the dog and you literally you were vocal and and she came away is huge, but then to be told she, she's not allowed back to that dog walker slash trainer is just unbelievable, unbelievable. I and mean, I would see that as a positive that how you managed to cope with it, but for you to be and that's what's knocked your confidence, totally knocked your confidence. And then for that trainer slash dog walker, whatever they want to call them, to then say, never let her off the lead, never let her near other dogs. That is just, um, Bella, come. Good. That is just unbelievable. 
This dog is dying to be a social dog. Absolutely dying to be a social dog. 